Hello everybody, my name is Divine Medicus, and today I will be talking to you about how I build, the techniques I use in detailing, and what you can do to improve. Essentially what detailing is are small works of art history and little things which makes a creation or a work of art look better. And before you say anything, anyone can be a good builder. All it takes is time, patience, and practice in applying yourself. One of the more crucial and vital tips is looking at builds in real life and of course applying them in Minecraft and are looking at other people's builds. Hello everybody, so we are back here with Evorium, the Cloud Conjurer. This is an example of a very nice build you could uh, use to your advantage in terms of detailing. How could you do that, you ask? Well, you look at the build and you keep in mind the size and the shape of a tower or a pillar. So right now you know that this pillar is one, two, three, four, five, five about five blocks in width and that they use a certain style of detailing. Now when you look at it, you want to copy it. So doing this really does help. Um, just copying the detailing and the techniques you use, uh, it's really essential to being a better builder. And building requires good memory in the sense that you have to remember how large everything is and how and how proportioned everything should be. And obviously you can see at this point that um, they use this sort of style and output to make a little arch. So you might want to keep that in mind and remember that for the future. Depth is critical in detailing. How do you how do you create depth in Minecraft, you may ask? Well depth is pretty simple to create. All you pretty much do is you divide the build into certain layers and of course you simply just build behind or in front of the build to create a certain effect that's pleasing to the eye. So if I have this for example, an example, another example of depth could just be to create an arch above it. It's as simple as that. Shape is a, is a really important key factor in detailing and in creating your builds. Shape and detailing coexist within each other and form a harmonious bond which gives advantages and makes the entire build look and unify in its own self. So in other words, detailing relies on shape and shape relies on detailing. Something that starter builders always fail to understand or to grasp the concept of is that your shapes do not have to be super complex. In this example of detailing, Shinaga used a combination of slabs and stairs to create sort of a baroque effect, as you can see right here. Repeating each design really does help in your own detailing. So in this example, you could I could remember that um, placing stairs like in this way, in this manner, um, connected with one full block could uh, actually make everything look better. Simple as that. And no, this isn't cheap. This isn't a wrong way of building or learning how to build. It's actually a very useful and a very credible way of building and learning. An important aspect of detailing is proportion and roofing. This house right here has excellent proportion, roofing, and it has trimmings. Of course, similar to that in real life. One of the main factors that makes Minecraft builds look so exquisite is the fact that it resembles builds in real life. When you're detailing, you want to even include the littlest things in your build. So even small things like the spire can help improve your build a whole lot. All the small details count. By simply doing that, just by simply doing that, you learn how to create a spire and make your own build look better. And of course, don't be afraid to experiment with depth, with detailing, with anything. Anything that pleases the eye or pleases your eye or looks nice at all is plausible and credited to be a build. And of course, if you need to ask any questions or um, need any tutorials or stuff, just ask me. Tutorials do help in building because they demonstrate types of detailing which could be used to your advantage. So of course be sure to keep building. 
If you leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe, that will be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Atticus makes me all swollen. Goodbye, Atticus makes me feel happy inside. Ah!